Yeah. Interesting. But, I, but they're I playing think, like uh, it's a real deal. Yeah, so. I think, okay. uh, was it Motto? Motto uh, was the one that dropped, and, uh, you know, he was out anyway, so they picked it up. It's now two on three as uh, Sercito and uh, Fac, uh, Facu. 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 I'm not sure. Facu, uh, too, Yes, is the last man standing. Shotgun in hand, uh, excuse me, that Shaft. Shaft trying to chase him down. Uh, and uh, of course the red team had the lead. Oh, that's nice a nade kill. Grenade. Oh, Yeah, wow. got it like that. And uh, he is gonna get uh, locked on, but he's gonna go ahead and go for it. Diablo will try to catch wow. him midair with that LG stream, but he does manage to somehow get that one. However, in a one-on-one, -on -one, he does have a little less uh, uh, health and armor. And, well, there it is. The, the one rail that can end it all. And uh, now we're back in a four versus three situation. They're going to pause it again. Yeah. All right, there we go. There we did go. he get here in time, though? That's the question. Oh, did he spawn in? Fight. I don't know. We'll I see. see him as a, it looks like he is a player. Okay. So. All right, cool. So I, I think we're good. Uh, but yep, right now we got P P4S has the, the two-round advantage here, 2-0. So PHS needs him to get on the board. Yeah, they really, uh, they really do, and, and that sort of like breaking the momentum. You know, not the greatest mm -hmm. thing that they could have asked for. They do get the first uh, blood on this one, and they are going to be in a four-on-three situation. They need to use this to their best advantage. Now, right now, Mudo is really backed off, and he's waiting for someone to come in. Let's see what the rest are doing. Demo's going to extend himself out, try to get a rail there. Drake doing the same. And uh, here comes Cercito's. It looks like GHS has definitely uh, backed off a little bit. Drake is going to meet up with Cercito. They're going to take on Revox 2v1 with the LG, and they they could take this round here, three versus two, as Demo and Shaft are the only ones remaining here for P4F. Yeah, and that was a nice bit of teamwork there. Drake, though, sticking his neck out a little bit too far, gets railed twice. Demo getting the final shot, and it's now two and one. The final player has got to be Muto, and he will not survive. That gives a three-round wow. advantage to P4F. I, and at, at this point, I'm you got to wonder, though. I'm going to chalk this one up to a major amount of telegraphing with the grenade launcher and not moving from that position, just kind of sticking it out in that place, making it really predictable there. Yeah. Shaft is going to make a play into two guys. Does get the frag and backs off with 76 health. Nice switch up of position. Oh, wow. Great work here. Great teamwork. We're seeing the sort of wingman mentality here. Shaft. Yeah, not. This is totally not good for GHS. Wow. They're down to now one versus three, and uh, this is probably going to be round number four. As uh, that, I mean, everything yeah. went right for P4F in, in that particular uh, round right there. We're now entering round number five, and uh, again, that is just really clean. We're going to start off round number five with GHS having control of that main room. Uh, they're going to now have three members up around the curve uh, and sort of make their way out. So they're, they, this is a good place to start. They just got to watch out and, again, dynamically uh, adjust to whatever we're going to see P4F do. Well, and P4F was fortunate enough to all spawn in the same room. And Shaft is just sitting here with his rail at the ready, tossing a nade just for fun, switching back to rail. He's just waiting. He's like, give me a blue pixel. That's all I need. I just need one. And then I will uh, tear you apart. Now, we do have some movement here. It looks like G4F is going to make the play. Revox coming through that uh, choke point. And let's see if he can survive. He is dishing out the damage. And it looks like uh, Diablo is going to take one down. Shaft getting a frag. Drake along with one teammate. Oh, wow. We got almost a simultaneous kill of those last two remaining GHS players. Wow. That was... That was all rail, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. at that point, P4F, they played the rail game like they needed to. It worked. Now we're seeing uh, basically a fight here in the main room where P4F is going to dominate LG all the time. That's all we got here. There's a great example of someone coming in with the rail, and the LG is just completely melting the faces off of GHS right there. That's going to make it 6-0, to zero, and these guys are looking at a possible shutout the way that, uh, the way that they're playing right now. Well, and I saw GHS, saw. You know, two GHS guys ran into uh, two-on-one situations, and then they turned into three-on-one situations. I, I didn't quite understand uh, that aggression. They did not yeah. really work well together. Yeah, if P4F is able to single out one member at a time and just LG rape them from two or three different angles, then GHS is definitely lacking something because that happened for every single member of GHS in that last round. Yeah. This time, though, 
We've got one man up. Oh, make it. Faku, you getting the final pull. Six to one, so it will not be a shutout. Round begins. All right. And they needed that. that I mean, they needed something to sort of pad yeah. their their momentum uh, or, or to build any momentum at all. And this time, P4F is going to have the uh, map advantage here in positioning, and they're going to do quite a bit of damage on two assaulting members from GHS. GHS has not lost anyone yet, uh, but there we are going to see P4F to, uh, go down first. And uh, this is a round that GHS really, the blue team really seems like they're, they're playing much better. They're right now set up in a 3-1 uh, situation. Now they're uh, four men all together using their grenades, using that one man advantage. They force a guy through the nice teleporter. teleporter. This guy should be getting all It's Revox. should have gotten oh, completely God. owned there. And he somehow wow. managed to take out two. P4F runs in and uh, it was like reclaiming their territory there. How did they that not take Revox. out Revox there? They had yeah. four guys in that room. It was a surprise <laughs> teleporter attack. And it looks like a GHS. Well, they still have a chance, but no, they'll go down. And that, uh, I don't know that they should have lost that one. I agree with you there, Wheat. Uh, it seemed like somebody dropped the ball. Maybe they all took off their headphones. I don't understand why it would take that long to turn around and shoot the, <laughs> the big red guy. There was almost <laughs> no reaction whatsoever. That's all right, though. You get to see blood drawn on this round. And we do see, yeah, it looks like uh, GHS is playing a little bit more defensively. They're a little bit less um, eager to go around those corners. They have a two man up, make it a one man up. Yeah, for, I'd uh, be too. <laughs> yeah. But well, now they, they get an ace of their own, so that's going to give them seven to two. But at this point, though, I really have to say, um, unless they can pull off a couple more aces, the momentum, in my opinion, is still going in uh, P4F's advantage. I would totally agree with you 100% at this point. Uh, it is still 4-4 four, four right now. Make that 4-3 as a P4F will draw first blood, and uh, they're going to make it now two. And, uh, you know, just like uh, it was said in Clan Arena, um, you know, you could get that one lucky spawn and it could just sort of uh, be that snowball that rolls down the hill and turns into a giant uh, avalanche. And that's what we did see. Now, uh, however, GHS doing a great job here. Uh, Drake and uh, Ifaku uh, pretty much holding it down right now. Both were pretty low as uh, Diablo is going to try to finish this one wow. off. He'll get the first rail, spins around, knows exactly where his opponent is, and switches to his RL just a second too late. I think that if he would have got that out a little bit sooner, that rocket would have hit, and he wouldn't have gotten railed. But uh, we're going to see the blue team pick up another one. Well, and he had already done tons of splash against the uh, the guy making a press from that choke point. But that spin rail was really a sight to see. I'm very glad I caught it on the stream so that everyone could see that in action. Uh, we're seeing Demo getting his ass handed to him here. Great uh, corner play. But all for not though. Sirocito, last guy up, having three guys to pull through. Yeah, tough. Ooh. Mm. He didn't even get a chance to pull the trigger. Eight to three. And uh, we're looking at possibly two frags, or excuse me, two rounds away from victory here for uh, P4F, who did take the first map, as we saw just moments ago. P4F Shaft is going to make his way back and uh, go ahead and, and let uh, GHS sort of do their thing. He'll get a rail from that uh, top level, and that aerial advantage plays such a big part right here. And oh, gets railed as he uh, expects someone to come out of the side there, but uh, he goes down. Revox down to 10 points, and now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one after two very, very nicely placed rails. However, Demo or Demo has a lot of health and armor right now. He will get a nice shotgun blast in the mid air against Mono. Mono lands that rail, but it won't be enough, and this is going to be game point right here. Yeah, and uh, I had the privilege of watching how that round un unfolded from Demo's point of view. Uh, we're going to continue to watch him for this final round. Um, as he moved through, you could see on other parts of the screen, his teammates would be coming from different entrances into the room. They just took it over. It was like a tidal wave, and there was nowhere for JHS to go. It's fantastic uh, work. Now. Demo walking into 2-on-1. Ooh. <laughs> He look out for him that But you can see, though, um, that, that his team is trying to press in. Um, you know, they, they just showed up a little bit late. Ooh. Shaft not yeah, seeing nice where that other rail came from. 